Hello. I decided that today I would do my little blog vlog in real time. I was in Greece recently on holiday and found this. And when I came back, someone said, were you inspired? And I was. Dots, lines, symmetry. What a beautiful thing. And it's discarded, it's the end product, the life of an urchin. So out there in Greece, there was a lot of water, beautiful water for snorkeling. You can see all the animals, all the things under the sea. So I thought I'd put some sea and an urchin. And I'm going to do the sea in a very simple way. Just a sort of a representation pulling the back of the iron up and down as I go along. So that's the sea and the foam. And now I want to put a place for the urchin, so I'm going to turn the card, make it easy for myself. Got a tissue ready, and I'm just going to describe some sort of arc. Something like that. Wipe it away. That's going to be my urchin. And the colours that were in it, there was some yellow, pink, a bit of brown, a bit of the red violet as well. Try that. And I'll just put that on here and spread it. And I want to make some colour and use this colour to put on the spots. I just want this colour to be a little bit different than the regular colours out of the packet. You can make colour cards like this quite easily. Oh, look, I've got it on there now. That's going to be the top of my urchin then. Do you remember it had a hole in it? Let's just do a circle around that. That's a bit fortunate, really. Now I'm going to start doing my rows of spots. And you might say, this is a bit simple. But the point is that I'm enjoying it and it's giving me something from my holiday. It's taking me back to looking at those urchins. Fascinated. You don't want to stand on them though, very quickly. So just making my little rows of spots I haven't got time to do as many urchin spots as there were on the actual things. And then maybe I'll take the red violet as it's a nice colour and just do some of those lines. So let's do a couple of lines just arcing down there. And another one. I think I'll darken this line at the top. I did. A little mistake, but it's quite nice actually. It took the colour off, so I'd better do some more of these, didn't I? Some more down there. And some more down here, perhaps. It doesn't have to be the same as the real thing. I could do some darker spots, I think, as well. Let's just do some darker spots. No one can tell you that it can't be like this. Because when you're the creator, you can do whatever you like. And that's the beauty of creative art. Well, I don't want to take all day, so that's probably gonna be it. Give it a little polish. But while I'm looking at it, I'm thinking that'd be quite nice to have a border, so I'll put a border. I love doing borders. So I'll just do my little wiped border here. Oops, let's try and get it a bit flatter than that. Better. Wipe it off. Tidy it up. Oh, a bit 
too much wax there from somewhere. That came from inside the iron, all that wax. Sorry. And then, if I take some of my colour cards, just wipe this out. These colour cards are great to make if you are toning colours. So if I just do some spots up here, and just sort of tie it in, bring some of that colour over to this side of the card. They don't have to be perfectly round, they can just be decoration. There we are, I think I'll just leave it like that. 